Hey, everybody. Welcome to Love and Reload, the voice of the relocation industry. I am your host, Ben Cross, and we are here live for day two in Toronto at the IAM conference. And I'm so blessed and honored to be here today with many folks. But to start off with Jacques Monnier here yeah. from Brighter International Moving. How Hi. are you, Jacques? Very good. Uh, what about you? It's good to see you again. We hooked Thank up uh, last year and you, you did a little uh, uh, interview with me and I got yeah. to know a little bit about Brighter. How's things been? Oh, fantastic. A big year. Uh, very busy. We had the uh, big year, we busy were, year. We Man, that's amazing. Swamp. Yeah, we were swamp all summer. Were you up yes. this year over last year? Uh, I would say no. No? Okay. No. I would say there's a slight difference. Yeah, uh, sure. Lower, five, yeah. five to ten percent. Honestly, five to ten percent is outperforming the market. I mean, what we're hearing really is ten to thirty or twenty to thirty percent down for a lot of people. So yeah. So being five to ten down, I mean, it's yeah. it's it's just uh, it's just nice. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, obviously we are pretty good with what we did. Yeah. But uh, we see the market anyway that uh, going down a little. You know, we can see the inflation, the economy, sure. the interest uh, going up. So it's affecting the movers for sure. Yeah. Um. Get in the comments right now. I want to hear your thoughts, your comments. Let us know who you are, where you are. The show wouldn't exist without you. So get in the comments on LinkedIn, on Facebook, wherever you're watching this. We're live streaming this simulcast right now via my LinkedIn profile, but also the IAM page. So it's really fun. We get to do this. Adrian Grimes checking in over here. Awesome. Good to see Adrian from Glomo HQ in Dallas. Look at that. Julie Coleman. We saw Julie Coleman walking by earlier. It's a great conference. She said, I got to ask you, Jacques, has been the of the IAM conference this year for you? Uh, I, well, first, it's uh, my hometown. <laughs> hometown? <laughs> Toronto. Uh, I born in Montreal, but uh, Toronto, it's, uh, you know, we've been, uh, as we grown, you know, we went, uh, we came many, many times here in Toronto. So I know Toronto very, very, very well. So, yeah, I'm happy that it is in Canada. Uh, and I think a lot of people enjoy it right now of Canada. How is it different being <laughs> in Canada? Because it's usually in the States. The last time it was in Canada was about 10 in Vancouver. I remember that fondly. I got to sit on my first panel at a conference. It was fantastic. What's it What's it like having the conference in Canada this year? Oh, I can bring all my staff, my main staff, my manager, which I would not be able to do if it was in the U.S. Um, and everybody is exciting, you know, because I can bring these people here. They can have a, a first shot experience, you know, with the IEM. So uh, everybody enjoy right now. Everybody is very excited uh, to to be here, to meet with a lot of uh, agents, you know, and uh, it's exciting to be here. And it's a great place, you know, uh, it's fantastic, the place. Uh. Toronto's amazing. We were out <laughs> last night. I'm not going to tell you how late we stayed out, Jacques, but it is a fun town for sure. Get in the comments. I want to hear from you out there. Hit that like button. I run into people all day at the show and they're like, oh, I watch you on Love and Real. I'm like, get in the comments. Participate here. Bianca checking in from New Jersey. Looking forward to hearing about some industry expectations and trends for 2024. Awesome, Bianca. You know what? We're just going to take that lead there. Keep them coming in the comments. We're going to take your comments and prioritize them. So industry trends, what are you looking forward to or anticipating in well, it is, uh, of course, I'm following all the uh, the news, you know, that comes from uh, everywhere, you know, uh, I am and the uh, other trend of the, the news. And it, it, it also, it's going to be tough this year. It's going to be tough in 2024. I do have some great news to, uh, you know, to let you know. What you got? You got news for we're breaking news yeah, here. Breaking Jacques news. is breaking news. Everybody stop. Jacques is breaking news, guys. All right. You. He's breaking news. Yes. So <laughs> we, I can announce right now seven new locations. In, seven? In at 2024. The same, at, all in the seven? Same yes. So we are opening right now Portland, San Francisco, Fresno, Los Angeles, San Diego, Las Vegas, and Boise, Idaho. What? You're Congratulations, gonna, thank, Jacques. Thank you. That it's, is incredible. It, Seven new locations yeah. next year. What has prompted this incredible growth spurt for you? Well, you know, really once we opened Seattle, Washington, we saw the demand. We saw that our Canadian shipment going to California. We passed through uh, Seattle. And really, uh, my belief is that if the economy is going to go bad, we need to do something to put it up. Mm. So for me, 
it go bad, we invest, we go up. And I this is it. this is the way that I feel that our company is not going going to go down. You know, it's if we push, if we develop, that's going to bring good stuff. I love it. I love it. It reminds me of the Warren Buffett quote. When people are greedy, be scared. When people are scared, be greedy. There's so much value to be had out there in the marketplace. We see it on the talent side where salaries and offers are kind of down 5 to 10%. Um, we see it, you know, with the cost of equipment out there. There's, I mean, you know, deals to be had on equipment for the first time in years. Yeah. Are you seeing that, Jacques? Yeah, we see that, uh, you know, and uh, obviously um, – we we go with the flow uh, for that. We have no no option. You know, we need trucks, we need guys, we need the equipment to to manage what we do. But there is a way of doing it. You know, and I think we uh, at Brighter International we found the way. You know, we have some secret. You know, that work for us, and uh, we have great people in Seattle now. And uh, you know, we move some staff sometimes from Miami to Los Angeles. And last week we moved thirty thousand pounds into a fifty three foot. Uh, three guys, one That's from good San density. Diego. That's good density, by the way, out there for you moving nerds out there. 30,000 pounds and 53-foot truck. Going to Canada. So that, that it went perfect, and uh, this is what we are looking now. You know? So you're looking at doing a lot of cross, you know, you, so you got that cross-border lanes going? Yes, yes, a lot, a lot. But uh, also our interest is really to open in the U.S. market right now. Wow. So that our name can be not only in Canada. Canada is a small market. You know, everybody fight uh, to their teeth, you know, to, uh, uh, to have inches, you know. But the U.S. market, it's a great market to, to deal with. You know, it's so interesting because, you know, I come from a U.S. perspective, right? And we're, you know, oh, gosh, the market is so bad. This and that. No matter how bad you think your market is, there's somebody else looking at it and they're, and they're envious and they're ready to hop in it. So just remember that it's like a, it's like a quote, what I heard, you know, it's like you're working out at the gym. You look to the left, you know, and you're like, man, I would kill to be that guy. And then you look to the right and there's a guy who killed to be you, you know. Yeah. It's like so in the U.S., just remember. We have it really good out there, okay? Now, I got to ask you, how many locations did you have in the U.S. before, well, do you have currently before next year? We have now two, uh, two. Florida and uh, Seattle. Where in Florida? Uh, Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale? Yes. Okay, yes. so like just north of Miami? Yes. Like Broward yes. County or something, I think? Yes, exactly. Okay, very good, very good. So you got the, you got the, you got that, that South Florida location yes. and you got the Seattle location really close by. Yeah, really very near to yes. one another. Yeah, exactly. That's very easy to reposition yes. equipment yes. staff yes. between each yeah. other. <laughs> you couldn't have found places that were you further know, apart. I don't it's think it's $150 to move someone in, in a plane today. It's very cheap, you know? Yeah, that's great. That's great. That's fantastic. So now all this expansion in the West, what is going to fuel that? I mean, is it corporate business? Is it government business? Is it COD business? What are you relying on or what are you banking on we, to fuel that kind of growth? Yeah, we are looking for a different type of customer. You know, we, we offer quality. Brighton International uh, is named for quality of service, not only for the logistic, but also for the packing. And mm -hmm. we use special boxes, uh, very like 44B boxes. Uh, you can come out, out of what are these boxes? Tell me about these boxes you're talking about because I don't oh, know about this. See, everybody use 32C, they are uh, thin, very thin boxes because they save money, you know. Okay, uh, but you, you put a second box on top and they crush, and then you have claims, and then you have an IP customer, an okay. IP corporation, you know, that say, Hey, you damage our customer things. We use 44B, you can stack four boxes on top, and nothing will crush. And I invite you to come to our booth to visit. We have some boxes. It's, you know, very more expensive. It's double price. But at the end of the day, of the day we have calculated in a year, we save, we cost, we, we pay about $100,000 more in boxes. Okay? Wow. Yeah. But we save $1,000 and $1,000 uh, in claim. And also our reputation is always intact, you know. You know, that's another area where you're different. You know, you really, you really zag where everyone else zigs or vice versa. I don't know how the saying yeah. goes, but you, you do everything differently. That's what I find so innovative about you. And cause a lot of people are innovating with technology and all this stuff, but you're innovating with process. Yes. I find that really interesting because when I talk to moving companies here in the state, I mean, they are just all about getting their paper goods costs down yeah. and really working those box yeah. prices and those box vendors down. And you're actually investing in this thing that a yes. lot of people are viewing yes. as a commodity. Yes. You need to think out of the box. Today, it's, it's a difficult, <laughs> there, it's a difficult uh, time. You know, everything that is happening, but you need to think out of the box. This is a, our model and it works, you know. So I... Uh, I think it can work for the American companies as well. You know, they just need to think out of the box, take less, maybe less volume, but think about more 
quality, you know, to be successful. You know, and another thing um, I want to talk about is equipment. You know, I mean, yeah. we're going to really nerd out here on some moving stuff. I promise we're, we're not going to be this in the weeds the whole show, y'all. But but you do things different from an equipment standpoint. Yes. Too. You remember last year we, saw, we talked about pickup trucks and trailers. You're using pickup <laughs> trucks and trailers. Tell yeah. me about that decision. Oh, man. that's uh, I've been 44 years in that business. I used to have like everybody, five tons truck. And, you know, it's, it's complicated. You can find drivers so that you can find, you know, it's costly insurance are costly i came up 25 years ago with the i had a pickup i rent a big trailer you know and we started to move and the guy said hey we love that you know it's not at that high it does a good work you know i can bring five guys in the pickup yeah a big truck so you, you can only bring three guys right and this all of our canadian now uh we don't have we have only one straight trucker in mississauga all the one it's all pickups and trailers and they Incredible. work perfect incredible so i like you so say you can bring five guys to the job instead of three in a day cab and it's lower to the ground yes uh it's cheaper for insurance it's cheaper for the gas it's you know maintenance is cheaper you don't need a cdla to drive like it. i said last year your mother could even uh, drive this uh, the pickup you, you know, know it, you know you get my mom in a pickup truck and i'll give you a, i'll give you credit for that hey look at this we got people stopping by the booth here phenomenal this is great the energy is fantastic so anyone can drive yeah, a pickup truck so no i love one, it yes i love it yes. so smart just yes. so smart and we do a lot of swap you know uh, with the with this uh i bring a like from montreal to ottawa I swap i bring a trailer to ottawa i take another trailer come back to montreal things i will never be able to do with a five tons truck you know can you hitch those trailers together and daisy chain them and tow them together Yes, as possible. Uh, to to do what? I'm Two sorry. trailers at one time? No, no, not not these no. kind of trailers. Not no. those kind no, of trailers. No, 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 really interesting. Well, you know, I gotta think that it also gives you a advantage when it comes to recruiting drivers. Yes, yes, it's gotta be so much easier to recruit drivers with pickup we, trucks. We have no issue with drivers. It's really easy. No issue with drivers. No the issue. driver shortage has been probably the most talked about issue of yes. the last twenty years yes. in the moving industry. And Jacques has no issue with drivers. Yes. That's uh, incredible. No, no, no issue. No wonder you're paying more for boxes. You're like, yeah, I got no problem. Actually, I, got I, all these I, I pay less. I pay less. <laughs> I mean, these guys, you know, they, they don't have, you know, a GL license, you know. <laughs> yeah, this is great. We got people coming in here. Get in the comments. I want to hear your comments. Next, we have David Cox from JK, but I want to hear your comments here. So let's see. We got Samantha Davidson checking in. We have an awesome education and schooling consultant in Toronto. Great city. Yeah. Good to hear from you, Samantha. Bianca, Bianca Pardo, thanks for the input. Another thought. Speaking of the U.S. versus other markets, are you seeing an influx of moves coming from any one location to the U.S. or vice versa? Where are you seeing those popular lanes? What, what are the popular origins for moves to the U.S.? And, and, and where are you seeing the moves coming from and going to? Yeah, you know, uh, San Francisco is a, it's a hot it's a, it's a spot, you know. I was just there last week. It is a yeah. hot spot. But people, are you seeing people move out or move in? Move out. Move out, Move yeah. out, yes. And Los Angeles is getting uh, difficult. So a lot of the requests are, um, I mean, we are bringing a shipment to, uh, from Canada to, to California, but we see more requests from uh, California to Canada. Like uh, the, the, the one of last week, we, we did 30,000 pounds. That was a, a, a guy, a gentleman, moving from uh, Long Beach to uh, Toronto, actually. So is your business primarily, I don't think I caught the answer before, is your business primarily corporate? Is it consumer? Is yeah. it government? 60%, 55% will be a private. Private. We, we love consumer private. Business. We love private consumer business. That's you it. know, and we're going to talk a little bit about, about yeah. kind of some of that consumer business uh, coming up here in a bit. But I got to ask you, with are you seeing the cost of customer acquisition going up, staying the same or going down? How expensive is it to find these customers? Uh, it's not that uh, complicated. I think it's more complicated to find real uh, sales people, you know, that knows how to manage, you know, the, ah. the customer. But we receive about 2,000 uh, requests in a month, you know, 2,000 requests in a month. Wow. So it's not a question. Is that organic of, traffic or through your website? Uh, they are uh, organic. They are website. They are... Uh, all kind of uh, things we do. Uh, it can be Google ads. It can be uh, social networking we do. Uh, so it's the name also, you know, 
quality. Once you are quality movers, I mean, the word spread fast, you know. Uh, so it's kind of all kind of, uh, but total it, it, it totaled to about 2,000 uh, requests in a year. That's uh, that's 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 really incredible. That's why I say the the the, the challenge is to find more the, the adequate uh, size staff, you know, to to uh, to be able to talk with these customer, explain, and you know, get uh, get the, these customer on board with us, you know. Yeah, yeah, really interesting. Great question, Bianca. Here, uh, Adam, uh, our IAM stream's not live. Oh, okay. Well, you got to reconnect the destination, problem. Hey, we're just getting some technical going on here. But uh, you're here on our LinkedIn Ben Cross stream. So hit us up there. Hit that like button as well here. So as a uh, as Toronto's home base, I see Mississauga there on your tag, there on your badge. What advice would you give to us out-of-towners about enjoying the city? Uh, Toronto. Got a couple more nights left here. Yeah, Tom. yeah. Well, if it was Montreal, that would be easier. <laughs> I would, I would get. I spent a lot of time in Montreal yeah, in college. It, yeah, I went to school Montreal, in New York, and Albany. Yeah, we'd hit Highway 87, go boom, right up there, right through there. Yeah, and uh, and we we were there. Yeah, it's uh, Montreal is a, the, the 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 place to to enjoy. But Toronto, I mean, you get a lot of uh, activities. Or I think there's a game tomorrow night. The uh, Leaf are starting tomorrow night. Oh, the I Leafs think. are playing tomorrow. Uh, night. I believe that's so. Um, so um, there's a you know go around and uh, uh, there's not a specific place. If you go more uh, west, I mean it's more business. You know, like uh, yeah. there's nothing much to do. All right, I gotta ask since you brought up the uh, the idea of sports here, and we're right here next to the the Rogers Center, and we got it all around. I want you to rank for me. You a sports fan, Jock? Yeah, I'm, I used to be hockey ten years. All right, I want you to rank for me the Toronto sports teams. Toronto sport team, uh, Raptor, the Maple Leaf. Which one's number one? Oh, Your which favorite? one is number one? Oh, my favorite. Um, that will be the – I love the Blue Jays. Yes. Yeah, I, you love the Blue I Jays. Really, I really love Really? Even a hockey guy like you love the Blue yeah, Jays? Yeah, I, I love uh, the Abs, Montreal uh, hockey. Uh, but uh, Blue Jays, I would say. Yeah. Number one. Nice. Very good there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's cool here. I'm loving the city here. It's really nice. Super cosmopolitan. It reminds me a lot of – a lot of New York. Um, it's kind of like New York and Chicago. I'd say it kind of has that vibe if you put those two together here. Is there anything that you've taken away from this conference that you've learned? Uh, so far, you know, it's uh, I, I see less people actually than uh, I've seen uh, last year. I, I, I don't know if it's too much, too large. I think it's you know? really spread out. You spread know? out. We're yes, here in yes. the convention center, which is like the Toronto yes. Pines Convention Center, I think it's called. Yes. Yes. And so there's a lot of space. That's what I see. Uh, last night, my staff went to the opening cer ceremony, and they yep. say we never saw so many people. There were mm -hmm. a lot of uh, people there. Yeah. So uh, no, I think it's uh, it's a pretty standard, you know, uh, convention so far. You know, uh, nothing too special, and uh, people are nice. You know, I mean, uh, it's a good time to connect with a lot of uh, agents you work with. Yeah. So so far, so good. I would say. So what type of meetings are you having here? Uh, it's a lot of uh, business exchange we have, you know, with a lot of, um, I mean, like I said to my staff, don't, don't think you're going to go out from this place with uh, tons of contract in your pocket. Yeah. It doesn't happen like hey, this. You, you get know? one or two, though, and it's great, right? Yeah, but uh, I have this uh, convention. We didn't add any contract. But the good thing is we meet with staff that come all over the world that we will never meet normally okay. so this is a good time to me to talk about some issue to talk about uh you know how to exchange more business together so it's a great things i mean uh i really uh love this uh, this kind of uh event this is fantastic jacques monnier here from bright Art international moving jacques you want to leave us maybe with a final thought before we bring david cox up well, no, I'm happy uh, to be here. I'm happy to, to meet you. Let's have a prayer for what's happening in the Middle East, you know, which yeah. is very sad. I think that's the saddest thing that happened right now. But uh, uh, just pray, make a good a prayer. You know, I think that's, uh, that's going to help for sure. And uh, let's focus on the positive. You know, there's yes. a lot of good things for movers. Uh, I mean, there's a big market. You know, there's a lot of things that, that is going to happen now. A lot of changes, you know, in the economy. Don't be shy, you know, if uh, one company wants to merge with another company and be together and be strong, you know, don't don't be uh, afraid of these kind of things, yeah. you know. This is the future. Everybody at some point need to 
okay, you want you can't argue, you don't have too much. Okay, let's let's go together. You know, let's let's work together. You know, and you've got a lot of hiring to think about for next year for all these locations. Yeah. Shock, you ever need uh, some GMs or options? Uh, you out give there? me, uh, send me the uh, e oh. an email. Oh, I yeah, consider Shock. everything. Here we go. Let's <laughs> go. Shock, here is a card, man. Yeah, That's yeah. the other beautiful thing about the IM convention. Everybody is handing out cards constantly because everybody can work with everybody else here. It's fantastic. Yes. Uh, Jacques, always yes. a pleasure. Oh, pleasure. Thank you so much for being here. Thank Jacques you. Monnier, writer, international moving.